What is the most important lab test for your overall medical health that you've never heard of and most likely your doctor has never heard of? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what the test is. I'm gonna explain how this substance is made and explain to you exactly why it's so important to your overall metabolic health. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice. That's what this video is about. The name of this test is a C-peptide. And in order for you to understand it, we're gonna to have to travel deep inside your pancreas and then travel even further down to the microscopic level to a set of cells known as your beta cells. These are where insulin is made in your pancreas. But insulin is not made on its own. It's actually made initially as pre-pro-insulin. And so it contains a molecule of insulin, a molecule of C-peptide, and then a messenger protein tagged to the end. It then breaks into pro-insulin, which is just insulin and C-peptide bound together. Ultimately, when it comes out into your serum or your bloodstream, it is a molecule of insulin and a molecule of C-peptide. So for every molecule of insulin circulating in your bloodstream, there's also a molecule of C-peptide. So that makes C-peptide an excellent proxy marker for the level of insulin in your blood. Now your insulin level changes constantly from minute to minute, whether you've eaten, whether you're fasting, whether you're under stress, whether you're calm and relaxed, whether you've drinking a Coke or some fruit juice, or whether you've drank some water, okay? The C-peptide does not work like that. The C-peptide level stays much more stable in your bloodstream. And so the C-peptide is an excellent way for your doctor, if your doctor knows about this test and understands what the results mean, it's an excellent way for your doctor to see how much insulin your pancreas is having to make on a daily basis. So that's important because hyperinsulinemia slash insulin resistance is the root cause of something you may or may not have ever heard of called metabolic syndrome. In the United States, only 12% of the entire population does not have at least one marker of metabolic syndrome. I've got a video about metabolic syndrome that goes into more detail that's gonna pop up right there, okay? So when your doctor checks the C-peptide level, they're actually checking a proxy marker for your overall insulin secretion. So if you're eating a high carbohydrate diet full of grains and fruit juices and highly processed carbohydrate junk food, your C-peptide is gonna be high because your pancreas beta cells are gonna to have to secrete much more insulin to try to keep your blood sugar normal. Indeed, the C-peptide is so powerful because in your earliest stages of developing prediabetes, pre-type 2 diabetes or in developing type 2 diabetes or in developing metabolic syndrome, you can have a normal fasting blood sugar. Yeah, and so it really doesn't help you at all. You can be severely pre-diabetic or have metabolic syndrome, and when your doctor checks your fasting blood sugar, it can be normal. So it can hide this problem from both you and your doctor. Even after you're developing pre-diabetes, which is very dangerous and damaging, you can still have a normal fasting insulin level. If your doctor's smart enough to check a hemoglobin A1C, then he or she may catch the, the early prediabetes with the elevation in the, in the hemoglobin A1C. But only by checking the C-peptide can you see, can your doctor see how hard your pancreatic beta cells are having to work to keep your blood sugar and your A1C within normal limits. So by knowing what a C-peptide test is, by knowing to ask for it, by perhaps even sharing this video with your doctor so that your doctor understands the power of a C-peptide test, you can actually predict your risk of developing metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes years, maybe even a decade before you ever are diagnosed with those conditions. And if you see them coming early, then you can start eating the proper human diet that will reverse your hyperinsulinemia and reverse your insulin resistance 
and prevent you from ever developing prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. If you've already been diagnosed with metabolic syndrome, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes, you can follow your hemoglobin A1C and your C-peptide test as you lower your carbohydrate intake, as you return to a low carbohydrate proper human diet. You can see your progress every three months. Get a hemoglobin A1C and a C-peptide check, and you can see them returning back to normal as you go on your journey of rediscovering the proper human diet. As I hinted at early, almost none of your friends have ever heard of a C-peptide test or know what it means. And in a uh, worrisome reality, your doctor has probably never heard of a C-peptide and know what the implications of the test results are. This is very worrisome since it is such an excellent pro proxy marker for hyperinsulinemia. There's also no better way of detecting whether you have type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, or LADA, which comes later in life. So many, well, a few type 2 diabetics can actually stop making insulin later in life and develop what's known as LADA. The only way your doctor will ever know if you're type 1 or type 2 or LADA is to check a C-peptide test. Some of the medications that are perfect for a type 2 diabetic before they discover a low-carb diet don't work at all for a patient who has transitioned into LADA. This test is going to help you tease out, are you type 1, are you type 2, or do you have LADA? After you've educated your doctor about the C-peptide test and you've actually got your doctor to order the test, when you get your results back, you want your results to be somewhere between 0.8 and 3.8. That's considered a normal level for C-peptide. Now, if you have a C-peptide that's down like 0.1 or 0.2, then you're a type 1 diabetic or you've developed LADA. If you're C-peptide level is above 3.8, then you have some degree of hyperinsulinemia and or insulin resistance, and more than likely, you either have metabolic syndrome or you're moving in that direction. If you don't immediately take dietary steps to reverse your hyperinsulinemia, you will develop type 2 diabetes later in life. If you just cannot talk your doctor into ordering your C-peptide test, I included a link down below to a website called truehealthlabs.com. You can order your own C-peptide over the internet without your doctor's order, and it's not that expensive. It's actually on sale right now. As you can tell from watching this video, the knowledge about a C-peptide test is invaluable to anyone who's obese, who has ever had at least one reading of high blood sugar in their life, who is a pre-diabetic or a type 2 diabetic, or a type 2 diabetic who isn't sure if they're type 1 or type 2, because many doctors don't check this test, therefore they have no idea which kind of type uh, of diabetes that you have, and that's very worrisome because you have to know which type it is in order to treat it properly. You're welcome to share this video with anyone you think it might help, including your friends, your neighbors, and your doctor or your healthcare provider, because it's very likely they have no idea the power of a C-peptide test. Please take one second and click that subscribe button down below this video and the little bell button right beside it so that every time I have a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first people to know. I'm Dr. Barry, and I'll see you next time.